friends, hope y'all are doing well. I wanted to do a second little upload of the week because I thought that on some Fridays throughout the spring and the summer months, it might be nice to do a more of a casual tip style video instead of kind of my usual reviews and inspiration videos about how to style different pieces, etc. So as you would have seen by the title of the video, today's video is all about how to style and how to find the perfect pair of denim shorts if you're petite for the spring and summer. So when we're thinking about wearing denim shorts, I'm sure most of us just instantly think that's an easy win of an outfit. It, they're comfortable, they're easy to style with pretty much everything, but I wanted to give you five different tips to help you if you are shorts shopping for the summertime and you are just unsure of different styles or maybe you're like me and you recently turned 30 or you're now in your 30s and you just need to elevate from the typical cutoffs of your 20s and your teenage years. So so let's get started with tip number one, and that is think about the hem or the finish of your shorts. So obviously cutoffs, easy as they come. They are typically denim shorts that, like the name implies, have been cut off from a pair of actual denim from a pair of jeans. So if you're looking at adding different types of shorts into your wardrobe this summer, consider ones that both have a raw hem as well as a finished hem. So a raw hem is going to be something like these. They obviously have the fringe and kind of the raw pieces. This is not a finished hem. This is not stitched along the bottom at all. It is unfinished and this makes it very casual. This is a very casual type of short and most of my shorts actually are like this. I would say that it is a little bit harder to find but becoming easier to find shorts with a hemline that is finished. So a hemline that is finished is not going to have that raw material coming through. They're going to be on the dressier side of things. So if you want to have a pair of denim shorts in your wardrobe that are just a little bit classier and a little bit more on the versatile end of things, if you're aging up and becoming just a little bit more mature in your fashion and your style, then these are definitely what you want to gravitate towards. Now, like I said, I have many pairs of unfinished hem denim shorts in my wardrobe, but I have started to fall in love with the idea of also having a couple pairs of very classic, very beautiful finished hem denim shorts. Tip number two that I would say to keep in mind when you're shopping for denim shorts for the summer is to take into consideration the wash of the denim. Now, just like with our denim pants, our jeans, denim shorts come in all the different washes, all the different colors. So obviously you can have denim that is colored denim. So pinks, purples, yellows, etc. more than on your uh, olive tones, your ivories, your bone color. Then you can also have just your standard white and black. And all of those are really great options. I would say that the colored denim is probably going to be a very trendy, and I'm not even sure if that's really even on trend at the moment, but it has been very trendy in the past and might not just be a great addition to your wardrobe, but anything in the range of like an olive to a tan to a bone to a black is going to be a beautiful addition to your wardrobe. And then when you're looking at true denim, blue denim, obviously there are so many different washes that you could consider. So I would say that's something that's more of an acid wash, which is very light, very light tone almost the light blues, electric blues with whites inside of that, that's going to be very vintage, like I said. That's going to have a very different style than something like a true mid-tone to dark tone blue, which is just traditionally more classy, a bit more elevated. And then anything in the like true white kind of light denim blue tones all the way to like that mid-range blue is just going to be your typical kind of 
very casual, very classic kind of denim look. So that's also something to consider. Look at where you have a hole in your wardrobe. If you need some denim shorts that are maybe on the classier side, think of ones that are maybe a little bit darker in wash. Or if you want something that's just very unique and stand out, look for either a white or a black or maybe even like a vintage wash. Tip number three is consider the material of the denim shorts that you're buying. Every single website, no matter where you're buying from, is going to list the material composition of the denim. So it is going to probably surprise you once you start really looking at it because it really did surprise me when I really started looking at what was in my denim and what am I buying. A pair of denim that is going to be 100% cotton, those are going to be much less structured. They're going to be a bit looser. They're probably going to trend toward a more boyfriend fit. You could easily size up in these if you wanted that very looser kind of 90s style, or you could size down if you wanted them to just be a little bit more fitted and structured. But ultimately, unless you wash and dry, these consistently, that type of denim is not going to retain its structure very well. And then a lot of denim you will see these days have the addition of elastane or lysol in them. And that is a fiber that makes it very stretchy. So it is going to, even if it is 99% denim and 1% elastane, that is going to make your denim have just a little bit of stretch, a little bit of give. They're going to be still structured, but a bit more forgiving if you are sitting for a long period of time or you're constantly bending or reaching or playing with kids or chasing a dog or whatever it is. Those are just going to be a little bit more comfortable. So always a good thing to keep in mind, always a good thing to check for on a website when you're trying to find shorts for the summer. Tip number four these days is always, always, always look at the inseam. Again, this is going to be information that is very easily accessible for you to find in typically the product description of the item itself. And an inseam is going to look very different depending on your height. Now, I'm talking specifically for petite women because that is my experience. I am only 5'1", and so inseam measurements are going to look very different on me than a woman who is 5'7". So that is just something that I wanted to kind of give you all a bit of a reference for me being only 5'1". So inseams generally range from about 3 inches all the way down to sometimes nine inches if you're looking at a pair of Bermuda shorts or something like that. And it is going to be a very different style depending on the inseam. So obviously a three inch inseam is going to be much shorter. And again, this also does depend, no matter your height, on just your body composition. If you have a bit wider hips, then a three inch inseam is going to fit you a little bit differently than it would me. So I say that there are a few brands that kind of compensates for this well. So the Abercrombie Curve Love Denim, their shorts does a great job of kind of compensating if you're a bit curvier or if you just have a bit of a different body structure than a person like myself who doesn't have many curves and is just fairly slim. So always look at the inseam, always, it's always a good idea to kind of know what inseam that you want or buy a few pairs of shorts in different inseams and take a look at what is the most flattering on you, how you're going to be wearing the short and what you're going to be styling it with. Because if you love a three inch inseam, but you're always going to be styling that pair of shorts with a pair of heels, then you might want to look for a three and a half or a four inch inseam just to make sure that your shorts do not give the visual appearance of being too short. Or likewise, if you love a five inch inseam on yourself, but you're always going to be wearing it with flip flops or sandals or flat tennis shoes for the summertime, then maybe look to getting a four and a half inch inseam just so that it doesn't cut you off too much depending on your shoe choice and outfit choice. And then tip number five is I would just encourage you all to think about how you're styling your denim shorts for the summertime. So obviously, like I said, I am in my 30s now and how I'm styling denim shorts is definitely different to how I did 10 years ago or even eight years ago when I was in my early 20s. 
So I am looking at these days, like I said earlier, denim shorts that don't have as many rips and frayed hems that are a bit classier because I just find myself gravitating towards items, especially that are just a little bit more elevated in their style that I can dress down with a t-shirt or a tank top very easily, but then I can also use them very versatilely in my closet and go super feminine with beautiful ruffles and linens or a oversized shirt that's a button down that I can pair with sneakers or even a sweater if it's a little bit chillier in the evening times. And so that's kind of what I like to keep in mind so that I'm not just in the rut of buying the same pair of denim shorts with the rips and the frayed hems over and over and over. I kind of help myself break out of that mold and look at types of denim shorts that I would not have otherwise. And then I'm always pleasantly surprised with the options that are out there and the beautiful ways that you can style denim shorts for the summer. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that these tips for how to find your favorite denim shorts for the summertime will be helpful for you as we are going into the warmer months ahead. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful rest of your week, and we'll see you in the next video.